Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a quick look at a feature you may not have used in the project window in Cubase which is to divide the track list. Now it's hidden up here on the top right and if you click it you'll see the project window divides in two as its name suggests. So now we have this divided bar and we can put separate tracks up here. Now you may be thinking well what, what's the point of that but often there are tracks particularly in a large arrangement so here we can see we've got quite a few folder tracks and in fact if we expanded all the folders etc it would turn into a kind of unmanageable nightmare um, but often you want to refer back to a particular lot of tracks um, in this case I found when I was doing the arrangement I was often working with the drums and to minimize and scrolling what we can do is just drag the drums up to here and now we've got the drums always available in their own view of the project window so no matter where I am in the arrangement, so let's say I'm working around these fetch sounds here, which normally would be at totally opposite ends of the project, we can now get both of them onto the screen at the same time, which is great, and can work as we wish when we want to. Now to get rid of that, just click that again, and you see, oh, it's disappeared, okay? So you can always go back to this, but drag these back to the other window and then do that. So something else that's happened a few times over the years has been somebody has accidentally done this, not realised it, and then stabbed around a bit, click this, and then they're like, where, where have my drums gone? My drums are not visible in the arrangement, and that's because they're in the other part of the uh, divided track list. But you can just bring it back. In fact, you can use that as a useful tool to be able to flick quickly between a larger view of the things you've got in the bottom and then those things you've got at the top. And so you can just always drag them back. You can drag freely between the two and then when you're done, away you go. It doesn't affect the way they get played at all, etc. But it does mean you've got flexibility in the way you can work and you can compare tracks which are physically far apart. You can compare them really easily and quickly using that.